What's up guys, Spin Firearms here, IWI Masada Slim. If you know IWI, they make products, they're built to last, they're tough as can be, they're durable, they're meant for battle, right? But as self-defenders, we play defense, so this right here is a great concealed carry option. Now, for this size handgun, this is like similar to a P365 XL or the Taurus GX4 XL or the Hellcat Pro. It's going to be bigger than your Micro 9s, but it's still thin in some areas, still has great capacity, um, and is all you really need for self-defense, right? We're not going to war. We're not law enforcement. It's get off me, and I'm out of here. Get off me, I'm calling the cops. You know, whatever the case may be. You're not having a prolonged gunfight, whatever the case may be. So 13 plus 1 in this setup, it's on point. It's just definitely on point. But I do like the Hellcat Pro, Glock 43X, and then the Masada Slim. But this is an amazing handgun. Don't get me wrong. By putting it third... That's pretty high up. So, awesome texturing on the grip. Awesome finish. I'm not sure what they use for the finish, but it's probably one of the most durable finishes on any handguns that I own. I'm not sure why. Awesome slide stop. It can be looked at as a potential snag. I'm not worried about it. It's a little rounded off, but at the same time, it can be a little sharp. Also, the takedown's a little sticks out and protrudes. Um, awesome mag release. Everything functions on this handgun. You can use it as a slide release, whatever the case may be. Now, notice this line right here above this mag release. That is where the handgun becomes thin. That slide is thicker, similar to like a Glock 43X. I mean, sorry, a Glock 26 in width. But when you come down to this frame, it's like a Glock 43X. So it's almost opposite of the 43X size-wise. Um, as a 43X has a thinner slide, but a thicker grip. But overall, it's great because that thick, heavy slide makes this the perfect combo because it really helps with that recoil. Also with muzzle flip. Has a short barrel, which I like. Optics ready comes with three dot sights but the two black back dots are blacked out which is sort of you know it's weird take it or leave it for what it is it's textured on the back but like i said awesome magazines they stick out like a magwell, as you can see so if you have a bad malfunction you can really get some leverage on that mag the best part about this handgun is that trigger just take a look at that it is the perfect trigger this thing's a tack driver um no rail which sort of upset people um yeah let's go ahead and put some rounds through it as it is one of my favorite guns to shoot um, all right, let's just go dead center of that center. Here, we're going to go to the top of the center orange, top of it. I really like the Masada. I really like this handgun right here. I really do. Alright. I sorta of, I sorta of ruined my group at the end, but had to do it. So, couple flyers. Self-defense, you're shooting fast. Let's see. One, two, three. Yeah. So I think here's where I came. With these flyers most of my groupings here got three flyers this way three here but i was also mag dumping somewhat controlled mag dump i was letting it get back on the sights just enough to let it keep going i wasn't getting back dead center or perfect but in self-defense you're not gonna be sitting there like okay let me line up let me line up right you're gonna be bouncing that recoil and you're just gonna have to go with the flow of that handgun and get back on center get back on center um do the best you can i got three flyers outside of that two inch center region um but everything's hitting also know what's behind your target and you're not gonna have any problems iwi masada slim is definitely one of the best handguns on the market for concealed carry